Jeff, if I can ask you a question around the vision, you, you talked about you know making it about jobs and placemaking, um, and 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 we, we talked about you know digitally enabled city, but what is it that's going to make people really want to live in Western well, look, Sydney? Uh, it, it's just going to be better. It has to be better. I, you know, I think we have, many of us, an unintended bias in Sydney that Western Sydney is out there and it, it'll sort of catch up one day. As the Chief Commissioner, I see Western Sydney quite differently. I, I think Western Sydney can leapfrog Sydney and, in fact, be a globally significant set of precincts and city region. A little bit like uh, some of your listeners would know this, uh, some of the Japanese examples in, uh, in Greater Tokyo are good examples, but also the area we think about a lot is the Randstad in the Netherlands, where we have an airport mm -hmm. centred with three or four cities, uh, Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Utrecht and The Hague around that is very similar to Western Sydney. So uh, I think we have to be careful in this fourth fourth generation of, of industrial revolution in cities and maybe even the fifth generation, that we don't constrain Western Sydney with preconceived uh, growth areas. I could imagine a new town of Sydney, of Sydney in the middle of the century where the main commerce of Sydney actually happens in Western Sydney, not in Eastern City. It's quite common, and my good friend to the right of me here, there's a city called Paris, which most of us know. Uh, the old town of Paris is not where you do commerce. It's where you drink your coffee and you have the beautiful food and, and the visitor economy happens. But the real commerce of Paris happens around Charles de Gaulle Airport. And we see that, we see it in Toronto with the Mars precinct, we see it in London. I can see a future in Sydney where Western Sydney is actually the exemplar for the nation. And this is what, I, I think collaboration isn't strong enough moving forward. Mm -hmm. I think we need to move into a co-design world where we're actually solving problems, certainly in terms of, and Duncan mentioned this, certainly in terms of human capital and financial capital, we're going to need an equivalent amount of money at least from the private sector if we're going to get this thing up and running, genuinely up and running. We are well out of the vision stage now.